On this day, April 3rd, 50 years ago, 148 tornadoes swept across the United States. 27 of them took aim at Kentucky. In Louisville, the impacts were catastrophic, with an F4 touching down at the fairgrounds, moving into the city's east end, destroying homes, businesses, and parks along the way. Northfield had just been built, then it was destroyed. Today at a special remembrance, the city brought back the former mayor, Harvey Sloan, and others who lived through that time. WHS 11's Ian Hardwit heard their stories. In Louisville, when something literally knocks us down, we get back up. That's as true now as it was when former Louisville Mayor Harvey Sloan saw the city rebuild after a series of catastrophic tornadoes in 1974. As the mayor said, this community really came together after that. They didn't want to leave. They wanted to stay and make it better. But for some, rebuilding wasn't possible. People died by the hundreds across Kentuckiana, six in Louisville. Mrs. Bernice Orr. Charles Fleming Spencer Jr., Walter Brooks, Nathan Bronstein, Teresa Smith, Cephas Hermanson. And those losses came with lessons. Uh, at that time, the Weather Service was issuing tornado warnings whenever one was spotted on the ground from a spotter, where now we can do it with much more lead time because we have the advancements in technology, all lessons learned from 1974. I mean, the fact that you can get information from your cell phone, holy Christmas, well, we didn't have cell phones. And it was, this is just a, a new generation, new century. In 1974, Leatherhead was in business, but not here at Bonnie Castle in Bardstown Road. 50 years ago, it was Snyder's Delicatessen, and on April 3rd, when the tornado struck, the owner of Leatherhead stopped in for a corned beef sandwich. I took off running back to my store, 1763 Barstown Road, and by the time I got there, uh, I still had my sandwich in my hand. <laughs> Went through the front door and I said, hit the deck because it's a tornado coming. At his shop, Nick Boone restitches leather history. From antique tools to celebrity photos, his 57-year-old business is full of details that survive the years. This is it right here. He showed me a picture from his old store before the tornado blew off his sign. Despite the weather, he's one of the many who stayed after the disaster. Although he likes to joke about the tornado blowing him up further Bardstown Road, he's learned, like the rest of us, about respecting the power of Mother Nature's fury. In Louisville, Ian Hardwit, WHAS 11, on your side. And as you heard, we are more weather aware than ever before. You can keep up with storm updates on the WHAS 11 app. So easy. And as they reminded uh, folks today at their news conferences this morning, you can also subscribe to Metro Louisville's emergency notification texting system. It's called Lens Alert. That's L-E-N-S Alert. All you need to do is text this number 67283, and that will sign you up.